What is up guys and welcome to an infinite money slash collectibles exploit for Skylar and Plux adventure on Clover Island. Now just watch the gameplay in the background for like my, my map and my method and stuff like that and I'll just be doing commentary in the background. So for this one here I'm using the double checkpoint method and the respawning boxes method so you just head to my favorite part of the map which is Clover Mountain Bouncing Bay or Bouncy Bay sorry and uh, defeat enemies that can also accumulate towards the, I guess you're a cat person trophy, which is to defeat 100 enemies. So, you can get that one done. I've already made a trophy guide on that one there as well. But this one here, this video I'm making here, is just a longer version of the trophy guide I did for Got Rich and Died Trying, which was to get 10,000 collectibles. And I'm just going around breaking all the boxes. And what this method basically is, is because this part of the map here, this bouncing, oh, bouncy bay, sorry, I got it wrong again, has two checkpoints, one on either side, and they're pretty close to each other. So you just run from one side to the other, defeating enemies, breaking all boxes, getting heaps of collectibles. I'm just gonna call them gems for now. Getting heaps of gems, you get about 500 to 700 per three minutes. So the whole process takes about 40 minutes and you can get 10,000 in no time. Uh, it took me, I think, 43 minutes, but that's because I freed these guys. Don't free those guys. Just ignore their cries of sadness. I know, it's sad. But you'll be able to free them all in one go, because uh, doing this kind of negates the whole... Not really point of the game, but like, without the collectibles to collect, there's nothing else really to this except for basic platforming, which is still fun. But this kind of will ruin your... Not ruin your experience, but if you do this, you're going to have pretty much not the max amount of money but as much money as you'll need for the game so you won't feel compelled to like go and get those boxes that are out of reach and stuff like that so the rest of the game will just be uh focusing on freeing the loas i think that's what they're called the mushroom ah uh, marshmallow looking guys the difference between mushroom and marshmallow is pretty steep all right now this would come naturally i assume during process um during your progress in the game Yet, it's somehow the rarest trophy, like people don't have this one, so I'm guessing that people, I don't know, you have to, you ha almost have to do something like this, because you might end the game with like 8,000, because I'm confused, it accumulates over time, so I assumed by the end of the game you'd have at least 10,000, but some people don't, so that's fine. And uh, after doing everything there, going along the beach, this is my main super duper method right here, you make it to this checkpoint, as soon as you see saving in the bottom left, you quit the game, back to the main menu, and then all you go is press play, select the save game you were just in, load up the game, and all the enemies and all the boxes will be there again. I'm going to speed up the gameplay now because, you know, you don't really want to see it twice in a row. But this is just like a rough idea, given you, like, the, the route that I played. I mean, you do this enough times for half an hour in a row, then you'll, you'll learn the route, you'll learn where all the boxes are, and your mind will tend to go a bit numb. So, I don't know, chuck on a review or a short film or episode of a TV series or something in the background, watch some YouTube on your phone, play some music, whatever you want to do, and just do this over and over and over again. You, I got my, uh, I guess you're a cat person trophy before I got 10 grand worth of collectibles or gems. See, I told you, I told you I'd get it wrong. But you should get both of them, as long as you defeat the enemies as well. You don't have to defeat the enemies, you can do them both at the same time or one by one, but I just happened to get the uh, cat person defeat 100 enemies trophy while getting this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. There are other places in the game you can do this, but this is just my personal favorite. <laughs> As you can tell if you've seen any of my trophy guides, I do them all in the same area. But this game is actually a lot of fun and it's really affordable and I definitely recommend picking it up. Pretty sure that's all the important things I need to say. Yeah, the best, this is definitely the best method I'd say because of the boxes. Uh, keep spawning and stuff like that. And yeah, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you all very much for watching. So tell me what you think in the comments. Check out the other trophy guides down below. This is me getting the trophy now, as you can see. Just got the 10,000. Trophy popped. Awesome. Check out my other trophy guides. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Look at that beautiful, sweet bronze trophy.